Hello friends, today we will see how the transmission and distribution of electric power happens. Nowadays electricity has become an inseparable and crucial part of our lives, almost all household appliances and gadgets work on electricity, all the life support equipment at the hospitals runs on electricity, so it won't be exaggerated to say that our lives depend on electricity, but have you ever thought how this electricity is brought to our homes, there is a huge system at work day and night to bring electricity to our homes and make our lives comfortable, let's see, step by step, mainly we will see the transmission and distribution of electricity. Electricity is produced using electricity generators. These generators convert mechanical power such as hydropower, steam power, etc. into electricity. These generators produce electricity at 11 kV level that is 11,000 volts. This 11 kV level is stepped up to 100 kV, 132 kV, 220 kV, 400 kV, and 765 kV using power transformers installed at substations. We can see that the 11,000 volts level is stepped up to an extra high voltage level, such as 100,000 volts, 132,000 volts, 220,000 volts, 400,000 volts, and 765,000 volts. Then this extra high voltage level electricity is transmitted over long distances, using long conductors supported by these huge towers. This system of conductors and towers is called a transmission line. Now, at consumer regions, this extra high voltage 100 kV, 132 kV, 220 kV, 400 kV and 765 kV is stepped down to 11 kV, 22 kV and 33 kV using power transformers at substations. This step-down power is brought near the consumer areas. At consumer ends this 11 kV, 22 kV and 33 kV level is again stepped down to 440 volts, using distribution transformers. And finally, this 440 volts three-phase power is distributed to homes in a single-phase format, of which the voltage is 230 volts. This 230 volts of power is used in our homes. In brief, electricity is generated at the 11 kV level, then it is stepped up to 100 kV, 132 kV, 220 kV, 400 kV, and 765 kV levels, and then transmitted over long distances. At the consumer end electricity is again stepped down to 11 kV, 22 kV and 33 kV levels. Further, it is stepped down to a three-phase 440 volts which is 230 volts single phase, and electricity is used by consumers at these voltage levels. You must be thinking since we generate electricity at 11 kV level, why can't we just transmit the electricity at this same 11 kV voltage level over long distances, and then step it down to desired 440 volts level at the consumer end, it would be relatively easy, right? Then why do we first step up 11 kV generated electricity to extra high voltage levels? just to transmit over long distances, and then again we step it down to 440 volts. Why do we step up and then step down the voltage levels of electricity? This step up and step down of electricity is done to save electric power loss. Let's understand this with an example. This is the consumer area, this is the electricity generation plant, and this is the electricity transmission and distribution line. To make it easy, let's consider the length of this transmission line to be 1 kilometer and its total resistance to be 1 ohm. Let's assume the power factor to be 1. Now, case 1. Consider that 1 MW of electricity is generated at this generation plant at the 11 kV voltage level in 1 second, and the same power is supplied to the consumers at the same 11 kV voltage level without stepping up the voltage. We know the formula for electric power in watts is equal to root 3 into line voltage into line current into power factor. In this case power is equal to 1 MW and voltage is 11 kV. Hence current flowing through transmission line is 52.49 amperes. We know Joule's equation of electrical heating due to resistance in a conductor is equal to I square RT. In this case resistance R is 1 ohm, and time T is 1 second. Hence loss due to heating is equal to 52.49 seconds square into 1 ohm, into 1 seconds, which is equal to 2755 joules. Now, case 2. Consider the same scenario with the same parameters as in the previous case. The only difference is that the voltage is stepped up to 220 kV for electricity transmission. Hence, in this case, the current flowing through transmission line to transmit 1 MW power is 
1 MW by 220 kV is 2.624 amperes. Resistance R is 1 ohm and time T is 1 seconds. Hence loss due to heating is equal to 2.624 seconds square into 1 ohm into 1 seconds, which is equal to 6.889 joules. After discussing both cases, we can see that the loss is reduced by 400 times just by increasing the voltage level by 20 times. This way loss can be further reduced by approximately 1400 times by stepping up the 11 kV voltage level to 400 kV level. Simply put, as per the Joule's equation of electrical heating, the loss is proportional to the square of the current. That means the loss is inversely proportional to the square of the voltage. Hence loss can be reduced proportionally to the square of the voltage step-up ratio. In conclusion, we can say, by simply stepping up the voltage level for electricity transmission over long distances, huge electricity loss is reduced. This is the key reason to transmit electric power in AC and not in DC, because DC power voltage cannot be stepped up or stepped down by power transformers. Because power transformer works on only AC power, hence losses in DC transmission cannot be reduced like AC. Nowadays HVDC technology is used in which electricity voltage is stepped up by the power transformer in AC form, and then AC is converted into DC. This DC power is transmitted over long distances, and at the consumer end again. It is converted back to AC form, and then its voltage is stepped down again. But this technology requires very high capital cost and maintenance cost. So guys this is how electricity transmission is done at high voltage, and distribution is done at low voltage. Hope you like the video. If yes please click the like button and comment. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.